Darling, aren't you overdoing? I'm going to ride him. I like to break him myself. Can't hardly tell which one of you worked the harder. Look at you. No question. Me. <laughs> <laughs> that horse will be nuzzling sugar from your pocket just one more day, son. There ain't a thing on this place that boy can't do. Not one single thing. I know. Back in Orleans. You ever figured to have a son like this, huh? I never did. Still hard to believe. <laughs> Two years, she still can't tell what hit her. <laughs> I can tell you, Miss Marvin, he's a preacher. And him asking you, do you take this man to be your... You ever feel sorry? Oh, darling, don't you be silly. Henry! I thought you might like to take a look at these survey plans of the railroad spur. Make sure they don't lay that track right through your living room. <laughs> <laughs> I sure would. Young lady, you look prettier every time I see you. Well, then I'll have to ride over more often. <laughs> this time I came by to get some money from you. Fifty cents for the church supper at our place Saturday night. Fifty cents? Mm-hmm. Well, that's half a day's pay. If I know you, you'll eat more than that. We're never going to get to study those plans standing around out here. Put your shirt on, son, and come on in. Seeing how half this thing's going to be yours. Right, Paul. Paul, did you like a cool drink? Mm, sounds wonderful. That's for me. Therese? Darling, I have to get my roses into water. Oh, well, be sure to come early Saturday night. You bet. We'll need some help with the tables. <laughs> <laughs> You like her, don't you? Who, Audra? Mm -hmm. Never thought about it. She has. <laughs> I don't mean a thing. We grew up together. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the engineering notes. Here. Well, don't get involved with her. Not for your sake, darling. For hers. to the Jacobins. Yes, why? Well, would you stop at the Marvin place for me? Henry likes to check his olives against ours. I meant to send them with you when you went over with Jared, but... What's the matter? Did you and Will have a fight? Oh, no, we... 
Well, it's just that I feel so awkward whenever I go over there. I keep remembering Mrs. Marvin. I mean, the real Mrs. Marvin. Oh, Audra. Therese is the real Mrs. Marvin. Well, I know, but... Well, he didn't have to marry again so soon. It, it was only a year. He was lonely. People do lots of things when they're lonely. Never mind. I'll send them over with Diego. Oh, that's all right. I, I'm going right by. I don't mind. Not really. Spurs ready? Tomorrow, maybe. If you ask me nice. Well, you said you'd have them two days ago. Well, now, looking at a pretty face like yours, a man don't hardly know what he's saying. I'll expect you to have them tomorrow. Early. time to Seeker, no drinking on the job. Awful hot in here. I ain't heard nothing. Except me. My horse threw a shoe again. Well, can happen. No telling when a horse Second is Second time in ten days, up by the river. I had to walk him all the way back in. Now suppose you walk on over to the office and pick up your time and get out of here. The sooner the better. Somebody? Nope. Just brought something over for your father. Arthur? Well, darling, what a nice surprise. Almost as uh, pleasant as it is unexpected. Hello, Mrs. Marvin. Hello. Uh, Mother sent those olives over for your husband. Oh, thank you. You mean you rode all the way over here just for these? Well, I could have picked them up tonight. Tonight? It's her supper. Well, I told you, over at the Barclays. Oh, darling, I'm so terribly sorry. Sorry? <laughs> sorry for what? Well, the Wadens are coming over for dinner tonight. Well, they're sure not coming to see me. Well, they come as much to see you as any of us. Really, darling, the way she fusses over you. Worth getting away just for that. What time? Well, it, it, it really isn't polite. Half past seven, okay? That'll be fine. Uh, hey, who you got me sitting with? Me. You want your money back? Can I get it? Nope. Well, then I guess I'll just have to suck. bother you too? Billy. Um, 
How's the supper? Good. Real good. Night. Well, uh, about this afternoon, I guess that's why I really waited up. I, I just had to make sure that you understood. Forget it. I can't. I uh, wouldn't want you to think that I... I don't. Well, I knew there'd be other Saturday nights and other suppers and other girls. I just couldn't stand to see you hurt your daddy. Hurt Pa? Well, darling, you know how proud of you he is. How he loves to show you off to all of his friends. It just isn't right to disappoint him, to hurt him. It isn't right to, to hurt anyone who loves you like that. But uh, I never did mean to offend you. So, uh, kiss and make up. about it now. There's uh, plenty of time to talk things over. Will, um, your uh, daddy's got to sign some papers. He's, uh, he's going over to the Barclays Monday morning. Monday morning, I'll be in town. Say you and me go get a beer, huh? I'll be right with you. I gotta stop at Sun Shop. All right. What'll it be, Nick? Nice cold beer, please, Frank. You think you better take it a little easy? Nick. Nick Barkley. Hey, now, 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 now. Come on. Now, you listen to me. Your father happens to be a very dear friend of ours. And I don't think he'd like it too much if he knew I just stood around. Watching. Can't stand nobody's pleasure, can you? Come on, Will, let's go. Come I on. think maybe the poor boy don't want to go home. Well, now, it don't matter much what you think. It matters to me. When I see a fella needing a drink, you're in the way, Seeger. That's so. Well, why don't you just move me out? on your beer, Frank. I understand, Nick. All right, Will, let's go home. Well. Thank you. anyway. Come on, Will. What happened? Well, Come on, let's go, Will. Let me find you. 
with help. No, no, on his own. <laughs> well, he never had a drink in his life. Well, he's a fast learner, I'd say. Not wine, no whiskey, nor anything. That's the way I raised him. And I don't think it funny for you fellas to wear him down and dump him uh, and try to laugh no, no, at no, all. No, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell us that we brought him back here after we got him drunk? If you're looking for someone to tar, it seems to me you're looking in the wrong direction. You raise a colt, you teach him to carry a saddle. You raise a man, you teach him to carry a drink. Come on. Henry, yeah, I'll take care of it. Come on, you come with me, boy. All you need is a good rest. I'll get you. I'll give you a good thing. Don't turn it all you can feel about. Come on, I'll get you. That's all right. All right. I know it sounds horrible, whiskey to cure whiskey, but it really does help. It's called Hair of the Dog. Mm. You're very difficult. Then you always have been. You never did know what was good for you. You should have stayed home with me today. You could have talked. You wouldn't have gotten into any trouble. I'm all right now. Not yet. Now, you're not ready to face the world yet. You rest nice and easy. The rest will tell you when all the whiskey's gone. I suppose it had to happen sometime. But you didn't have to go and get yourself sick over it. First drinks like anything else. First look at the ocean. First ride in a train. First love. First heartbreak. A stolen kiss. You do that to him? In his own house? You're dirt. I'm young. Oh, well, I've tried. You don't know how hard I've tried. But I'm just not cut out for an old man's darling. And don't you try to make me say I'm sorry, because I'm not. I'm not sorry, no shame, no frightened neither. Because I know that this is real. It's clean and it's good. You're trash. You're filth. Don't say that to me. Please don't say that to me. You do that to him? You're the scum of the earth. My own father. He's not your father. What'd you say? I said he's not your father. That's right. He took you out of an orphanage, and they were glad to get rid of you. He agreed to keep you, and you were 24, and he had himself a free work hand, a slave, and that's all he ever wanted anyway. You're lying. I found the key to the safe. It's in his will. That's why he never lets you have a drink. It's in his contract with the orphanage. Oh, Will. Oh, darling, it doesn't have to be like this. I love you, Will. I've known it for months. Oh, please, Will. Please love me too, Will. Get out. Please, Will. Get out! <laughs> down to supper. <laughs> it's his first time. He hasn't learned you gotta make yourself eat. Darling, I'll come with you. It's mighty sweet of you nursing them all afternoon. I don't know what I'd do without you. Daddy's here. He wants you down to supper, sugar. 
Boy, you'll feel better with some food in your stomach. You gotta try. Will? He's just a shame, darling. He can't face you yet. He's so very young. Now, don't you let it spoil your dinner. Please don't worry about him. He'll be back. Come on, darling. Come on. Oh, come on in. I think Audra's in the living room. Well, what do you know? You can even walk. Well, how nice to see you. How are you, Miss Barkley? What happened? Your paw kick you out just for one little drunk? Oh, Nick. We were just going into supper. Won't you join us? Didn't come for supper, ma'am. Oh, something else? Job. A job? What's the matter, Will? Doesn't your father have enough work for you? Always work to do, I guess. Comes a time when a man's got to break away. Start making out for himself. I thought, you know, being friends, I... I see. Well, Nick does the hiring. Just so happens I'm a short one man. You any good in the forge? Job needs doing, I can do it. Thirty dollars a month and keep. Tell Mac I said put you on, all right? Thanks. I wonder what happened. I wonder. Everything look all right to you, Will? I'll make out. You know, I don't like to pry, but... Well, I've known your father a good many years. As a matter of fact, he was one of my first clients. I wouldn't like to see him hurt. Maybe you ought to think this over a little more. Thought it over. Well, you know, sometimes things seem a lot worse than they really are. If you've had some little difference of opinion. Well, nothing like that. We get along fine. Well, then it seems to me he'd be hurt all the more. You know, Will, your father's had a lot of hurt in his life already. All those years, your mother was sick. I really think the only thing that got him through it was you. I don't think you have any real notion of how much you mean to your father. You can stop playing games. He's not my father. Who told you that? Don't matter who or how, I found out is all. Pick me out of an orphanage. Could have been me or any other. One, two, three. There's one looks healthy and strong. Sign papers and put a ring through my nose. If I tried to run, he could have hauled me right back. Well, I don't think you run away from someone who means as much to you as he does. Is there some other reason? No. None. I told you. There's no other reason. Just... They let me think I was his owner, so... Jared, believe me. Let it drop. Please. I wish I could. And I will. Jared, so early? 
I apologize for the hour, but I'd like to see Henry. It's rather important. Of course. Um, won't you come in? Thank you. No business this morning, Jared. I've been up half the night. Will's gone. He's disappeared. Without even a trace. I know, Henry. He's over at our place. He rode over last night and asked for a job. Why? For no reason? Not even a word? Well, he was pretty worked up. He, uh, he knows the truth about himself, about the orphanage. He couldn't. He couldn't miss and you let it out. I think you know better than that. You're the only other one that knows. It's written in my will. You have it in your safe right now. You have a copy, too? Under lock and key, like it's always been. He didn't get it from me. Who told him, Jared? I wish I knew. Henry, you mean Will isn't your son? Oh, darling, why didn't you ever tell him? We meant to. We always meant to. It's, it's just that the right time never seemed to come. Maybe it's because we didn't want it to come. Maybe it's because we loved him too much. Thought that if we told him, he'd understand that we weren't just holding him. Must have been something else that made him run. I'm afraid you'll have to ask him. I'll ride over and bring him back. Henry, wouldn't it be better if Will came back on his own? Oh, just you wait and see. He'll come running back. First little spat he has with Audra. Now, if you don't mind, I want to make sure that Henry gets some rest. He's just been so upset, poor darling. I'll stop by tomorrow, Henry. Goodbye. I know what's really bothering Will. It's that girl. Audra? She wants Will, and she won't stop at anything. But you're a man, darling. And I wouldn't expect you to understand. No. It's only lemonade. Listen, this is my drink from now on. Thank you, Mother, will you? For what? She's in town with Heath. Well, then, thank you. <sighs> Almost got away from me. You told Nick you could handle a forge. A forge, not a fire. Takes a man to do both. Left some tools. Moon, they got my mark. trying to talk to me. Darling, I was hoping to talk to you. Alone? Of course. Was my mama. I wouldn't argue with her. Here, my family's away. Oh, my. This is a wonderful room. Every time I come here, you know, my daddy used to keep his guns just like this. And it's the time I watched him oil and polish. You wanted to talk to me? Yes. Send him home, Audra. You can't hope to hold him. 
I'm not trying to. I, I didn't even know he was coming. Well, of course, you have to say that, darling. I understand completely. Oh, but there's nothing but Sometimes that... you can't do what you want. Sometimes you gotta stop and think of others. Do you know what you're doing to his daddy? I'm not doing anything to Mr. Marvin or Will or anyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Don't you be princess with me. I know exactly what you're up to, sugar. Little Miss Soap and Starch Country Girl. Don't know A from B or which from what. Gonna be pure shock to death when I tell her. You're not the only one he's looked at. That's right, little country girl. Things like that happen. Everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, he's been after me, me, for months. I don't believe that. You're second choice, darling. Strictly hand me down. I think Will ought to hear this. Order! <laughs> You were always after her. It was the other way around. <sighs> well, he'll kill Paul when he finds out the truth about her. Well, you should have seen him when he brought her home. It's like she started a whole new life for him. I mean, he never had much of one before that. Not with Ma and her being sick all those years. I can say it was an accident and not tell him the rest. No, the sheriff will be asking questions. But Jerry will know what to do. Listen, I don't want you to have to lie. But it's not really a lie. It was an accident. Oh, Will, I thought you... Mother, she... I did it, ma'am. It was an accident. Tell him. Well, I thought I heard somebody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, did you give me a hard time. But it don't matter now that you're back. It don't matter one bit. <laughs> it just goes to show you what pure foolishness a man can do. <laughs> I should have told you about the orphanage. And I should have told them how to hold a drink and not worried about them taking them away. Paul, I got plans for you, Will. I got big plans, yes, sir. Starting today, Will. Paul, will I you want stop? You, I want... Will you... Will you listen? Was well, something wrong? Paul...
pardon, don't please, you'll hurt yourself more. What happened? I asked you what happened. It was an accident, Henry. Over at our place. Your place? She came to get me, Pa. To bring me home. We was in the gun room with Audra. Audra? Audra killed her? No, Pa. It, it, it was me. But it was an accident, Pa. She, she picked up the gun, admiring it like. And Audra told her to put it away because, well, it, it might go off. Pa, then I reached for the gun and... Pa, it's the truth. Truth is, it was the girl's fault. That's pretty wild talk. She didn't tease him to come over there. Therese wouldn't have had to follow after him. And she wouldn't be lying dead in the wagon. Oh, no, Pa. Underneath that pretty face and that sweetness. You're wrong. Pa, if you just stop and listen. I gotta make arrangements. I don't know yet. Steve just said he wants to see us. Steve? Uh, sorry to have you ladies drive all the way in, but uh, I'm afraid it was necessary. Miss Berkeley? Mr. Seeger, how nice to see you sober. Sober on the day of the shooting, too. So I can recall it real plain. Now, Bert, you weren't there. Nick ran you off last week. I leave in time to pick up my tools. That's why I went back. All right. Now, you tell them what you told me. Sure. Like I just said, I'm getting my tools, and Mrs. Marvin rides up and says, the girl, I want to talk to you inside. So, the two of them go in the house together. Just the two of them? There was just two of them in there when the gun went off. That's not true. Will Marvin says he was in there also. Now, why would he lie? He's stuck on a girl. Want to help her out, wouldn't he? Maybe save that pretty neck from a stretching. Mr. Seeger, I've lived here a good many years. I've seen men lie for a drink or a dollar. But to lie out of mean personal spite, to try and destroy a young girl's life... I warn you, Mr. Seeger. When we get through with you, there will be no place in this entire valley that you can hide. No place. Just tell her what happened is all. No, I've been figuring on moving down Fresno way. But if you need me for the hearing, I'll stay. Right. Audra, he is lying, isn't he? Now, that don't mean I can keep his mouth shut. Now, he'll talk his head off in the inquest. Inquest? I didn't think you needed an inquest. I've got to call one now. Friday afternoon, 3 o'clock, here. Now remember, honey, you won't just be talking to us, you'll be talking to a coroner's jury. Most of them friends of Henry's probably just come from the funeral. They'll be feeling sorry for him. I know. That's why you have to be absolutely sure of what you're going to say. I'm sure. Is there anything you've forgotten? Anything at all? Nothing. It was an accident. You'll swear to it? Yes. Now, you say she picked up the gun and Will grabbed for it. Yes. So Seeger is lying. Yes. Audra, I'm only trying to help. Now, come on. There's nothing to be frightened about. You know, the word accident can mean a lot of different things. If Will grabbed for the gun because he was worried, that is how it happened. You keep asking me. I'm sorry. 
But if it did happen some other way... I told you! I mean, he could have grabbed for that gun for a lot of different reasons. If Therese were angry or upset... She wasn't! You're sure? Yes, he wasn't even in the... He wasn't even in the room. You were the only one there with her. Yes. It was you who grabbed for the gun. She picked it up. I was so frightened. Why? Why? She was so angry, so, so wild. Why? Why, Audra? I can't tell you. Audra, Jared can't defend you unless you tell him the whole truth. Oh, honey, I can't build a wall without any bricks. Oh, Jared, I don't want to hurt anybody. Who? Audra, if I have to ask you all night and all day, I want to know who it is you're protecting. Now, listen to me. I've got a pretty good idea already, but I need to hear you say it. Jared, I can't tell you. You'll have to ask Will. There he is. If I was you, I'd take it slow and easy on him, Nick. Heard tell you can catch more flies with sugar than with vinegar. Yeah, I know, but I don't happen to be hunting flies. Come on, get. Just coming over to see you. Why? What's the matter? I just thought you'd like to know that Audra's got us worried. She seems pretty upset since she heard about that inquest. Inquest? Seeger told the sheriff you weren't even in the room when it happened. Oh, well, you know Seeger. He's lying. Is he? Well, Audra finally broke down. She said the same things. Now, Will, what is all this about? She said you could tell us. But there must be some mistake. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no mistake. She's holding something back. There's no question she's scared, and so are you. Are you going to tell me why, Will? Now, if you're telling the truth, let go of my horse. I'm afraid this isn't going to wait. Look! All right, now, boy, you're going to start talking. Nick, now, that's enough! Oh, no, I've just started. Now, boy, you better start talking while you can. Lego! When you come off. Nick! Well, just pure boy spirits, I suppose. Just trying to dig the truth out of them is all. Well, wait a minute. Well, brother Nick, with your usual flair, you've locked the cage before we caught the bird. Well, someone had to open him up. What are you doing here? I was hoping to talk to Will. some things to do, Pa. Kind of got behind. Well, I guess I just can't get used to the quiet around here. And I thought you'd be home for... What happened? Nothing, Pa. It wasn't nothing. You don't get cut up like that for nothing. Who done it to you? Well, you take my word for it, Pa. It, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. Now, who done it? You have a run-in with somebody? I ask you a question, son. I like an answer. Now, who was it? Nick Barkley. Why? We had an argument was all. Just an argument. Over what? Look, Pa. A girl? Why? You know something they don't want you to say. Like maybe you never did go into that house after all. Maybe it was just Audra and Therese. Maybe it wasn't an accident. No, no, you're wrong, Pa. It's just like Seeger says. 
All you see is the girl. I don't count for nothing with you. You're wrong, Pa. Don't talk like that. All right, I'll give you one more chance. Say what you know. Tell me what it is Audrey don't want you to say. All right. I left some supper for you. Go in and get it. Open up! Come on, open up! Open up, or do I have to bust it open? Henry. <laughs> you. You're the one I want. That's a pretty face, all right. No wonder the boy can see nothing else. No wonder he couldn't see the blood on your hands. Yeah, he could have told me. You killed her, didn't you? You picked up that gun and you shot her down when she tried to get him back. Just a minute, Henry. Come on now, admit it! Henry! I think you better go. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay for it. For what you've done to Therese, what you've done to me. Pa! I heard you right out. It's just as well you're here. You can tell her for yourself. Tell her you can't protect her no more. Don't you look at him like that. He's gonna tell the truth. He can't cover up no more. I'm afraid no one can cover it up any longer, Henry. They couldn't tell you about Therese. Because the truth is, she came here for Will. She came because I wanted him back. Because she wanted him back. You say just what you mean. I think you know what I mean, Henry. I always thought you were a decent man. I'd heard rumors about her before, but I guess I never wanted to believe them. Then after the shooting, I had to find out for sure. I checked up on her in New Orleans. You went prying behind my back. I asked questions, I got answers. She was 17 when she took her first husband. Two years later, he was killed in a duel involving her honor. Four months later, Henry, she married the man that killed him. The lies, all lies! Less than a year after that, he brought suit for divorce. The charge was adultery. First her life, and now her good name. Don't part, it's true, he's right! He's telling the truth. She was no good. That's why Will had to run to get away from her. She thought that I was keeping him here and said all sorts of things. When I told her I was going to go talk to Will, she... She grabbed the gun and... He couldn't tell you. He couldn't hurt you. He loves you that much. If you change the line a little and put the railroad spur through here, yeah. it'll be better for both of us. That's pretty fine orchard land. Put in a crop of peaches, apricots, plums, and that'll cut the loading costs down, way down. That's a good idea you've got. He got it. <laughs> I learned him pretty fair, huh? Pretty fair. Mother's setting the table for lunch. We were hoping you'd stay. Well, yes or no? It'll be a pleasure, Audra. I'll join you in a minute. It's good to see you smile again, Henry. Well, I'll tell you, Jared. 
Deep down, I guess, I always knew about Therese. But I put blinders on, made a deal with myself. After all those empty years, I tried to buy what time I had left. You had two good years. She was so young and pretty, always laughing. Can't be sorry for that. Let's have lunch. Well, darling, aren't you overdoing? I'm going to ride him. I like to break him myself. Can't hardly tell which one of you worked the hardest. Look at you. No question. Me. <laughs> will be nuzzling sugar from your pocket just one more day, son. There ain't a thing on this place that boy can't do. Not one single thing. I know. Back in Orleans. You ever figure to have a son like this, huh? I never did. Still hard to believe. <laughs> Two years, she still can't tell what hit her. <laughs> I can tell you, Miss Marvin. He's a preacher. And him asking you, do you take this man to be your... You ever feel sorry? Oh, darling, don't you be silly. Henry! Thought you might like to take a look at these survey plans of the railroad spur. Make sure they don't lay that track right through your living room. <laughs> <laughs> I sure would. Young lady, you look prettier every time I see you. Well, then I'll have to ride over more often. <laughs> This time I came by to get some money from you. Fifty cents for the church supper at our place Saturday night. Fifty cents? Mm-hmm. Well, that's half a day's pay. If I know you, you'll eat more than that. We're never going to get to study those plans standing around out here. Put your shirt on, son, and come on in. Seeing how half this thing's going to be yours. Right, Paul. Paul, oh, did you like a cool drink? Mm, sounds wonderful. That's for me. Therese? Darling, I have to get my roses into water. Oh, well, be sure to come early Saturday night. You bet. We'll need some help with the tables. <laughs> <laughs> you like her, don't you? Who, Audra? Mm -hmm. Never thought about it. She has. I <laughs> don't mean a thing. We grew up together. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the engineering notes. Here. Well, don't get involved with her. Not for your sake, darling. 
for her. you were going to the de Covens. Yes, why? Well, would you stop at the Marvin place for me? Henry likes to check his olives against ours. I meant to send them with you when you went over with Jared, but... What's the matter? Did you and Will have a fight? Oh, no, it... Well, it's just that I feel so awkward whenever I go over there. I keep remembering Mrs. Marvin. I mean, the real Mrs. Marvin. Oh, Audra. Therese is...